Hello, welcome to Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. Um, what I'm going to do here today, guys, is I'm going to show you how to properly tie a D loop. Um, so, I got this E7 that we just traded in, and um, of course, the guy didn't buy it off of us, so his D loop wasn't tied in properly. So, I didn't want to resell it without a properly tied D loop, so I cut it off and we're going to retie one in. So, first of all, I got my link the string here. Um, which I got multiple different colors. If you guys need to buy D-loop material or string, you can buy them off of our website at DravesArtree.com. So what we're gonna do, I think Joe's got the camera there good. The best thing to do is take your end of your string, but typically if you're gonna buy one, I'll probably have this done. If not, this is how you do it. You ruffle up the end. I'd recommend a Bic lighter, um, especially without the child safety in it. That's just my personal opinion. You don't want to burn this rope, really. If you get it boiling too hot, it'll get brittle. You just want to get it hot and let it melt. And you'll see it, hopefully the camera, you can see it good. And I'm probably a little overkill on what I do, but they all look good and they're right. So you burn it and you smash it. And, okay, I think I got it where I want it, so I'm just gonna glaze this over. If you watch real close, you'll just see it melt, bubble up, and perfect. Okay, so this this end of this rope will not come out. I'm 100% I'm confident in that glue job. Now, if you get it really hot or if your rope's dirty, it'll want to bubble, and, and um, it's just a bad deal. So, don't do that. So, okay, I'm sorry, I'm taking off here. So, I'm going to tie this top knot first. This is a right-handed bow. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down under it on the left side of it. The bow riser is facing up. And then it's going to go over it just like that. Then back under just like that. If you're following and then through this hole. Um, it's easier for me to do it without trying to show you. But it goes under over and through so you want them you want your string and you're not coming out the same place so uh, I want to just put this back to right where it was on center pull that tight and you can see see how that comes out the same place you don't want them opposite because it's easier for it to slip that's your strongest way to make that guy work is to have him coming out the same side so there's the top knot now on this top knot your string is coming off it's your bubbled burnt ends facing away from you and the reason I want that facing away from me is because naturally when you pull your bow back most people torque their bow in a little bit so then they're releasing a little bit to, to, towards them so then the other one I'm gonna make it the opposite so I'm pulling off this side of the string on the top and this side off the bottom so it just makes it a little bit more balanced and it just makes more sense to me so Okay, I don't have this rope totally cut to length, so this is, and I don't like tying real big long D loops. Um, you know, you just cut, cost yourself some draw length. If so, and so I'm gonna pull that through there. Got a pretty good idea of where I want it, and I'll take a cut and I need my knife. Okay, so I got my knife, or fingernail clippers work really good. And uh, these ceramic knives from Stone River that we sell, they're wonderful. Um, don't cut yourself, please. But I made it just a little bit too long. So I'm going to cut off the excess here. Okay. Now I'm going to undo the knot so I can show you. I'm going to burn it again. I'm going to melt it. Try not to burn it. Just be patient with it and melt and smash. Melt and smash. Don't rush it. Yeah, 
I'll give it just a little bit more. Okay, so that one's that one's melted. We'll let that dry for just a second. Um, also, you can see I got we got kisser buttons to match your color D loop. This is a comfort kiss kisser button. It's actually my design. I put a curve on it so to leave your face nice and smooth without ripping your lip. If you need those as well, you can buy those off our website. Give us a call at dravesarchery.com. Okay, so now we're going to tie the bottom. So, we're going to come under the bottom. You can see where my finger is. Then this is going to come over and through. Just like that. Now, just to give myself plenty of slack, I'm just going to pull this all the way through like that. Okay, so we're over and through. And then this is going to go back over the top and then through the hole. So let me give myself a little bit more room here. There again, over the top, and then up through the hole. So there again, this rope, this string, is coming out of the same hole as the, the end is, and it's facing the opposite. So it's nice if you got a little nail or something to screw or there's even a slight pin laying around. How about that? I can kind of get that where I want it. Okay, I got it set to where it is. Now, this is something that I got that you probably don't have. You can grab your release and just hold the string and pull like heck. This is called a set of D loop pliers. It's probably not real feasible for the average guy to have a pair of these. I put it in and squeeze, donezo. Okay, the string's coming out the same side on both sides. Same side on both sides, it's come pulling on this side, on the bottom, and this side on the top for your natural twist to your face. Now a left-handed bow, you just do all that the opposite. So it's that simple, I'd recommend doing it the opposite. If you need D-loops, D-loop material, bow question needs, kisser buttons, best kisser button on the market, promise you that. Give us a call at Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. We'll do what we can to help shoot a bunch of videos and uh, teach you guys what's going on out there. Thank you very much, good day.